مجمع الأندلس التعليمي تعلم عصري ملهم بهوية وطنية وقيم إسلامية السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Dear students of grade 10 Mr. Raymond is back A new lesson A grammar lesson Still with the seventh unit H2O Students book page 92 And the grammar reference in the same book Page 141 Don't forget to protect Qatar, we love to protect the green lands and to save water. And now let's define our objectives for this lesson. We aim to circle the correct words to complete the rules after reading the examples and to complete the text with the appropriate article a uh, and the or empty space and this means that our lesson is about articles let's start with this video hello everybody today grammar lesson about articles Let's first answer the question, what is an article? An article is an adjective, they modify nouns. Now we have two types of articles, the definite article the and the definite a uh, or an. So that is used to refer to specific or particular nouns and the indefinite a uh, or an is used to modify non-specific or non-particular unknown nouns like in the examples below let's read the book we are talking about a specific known book or let's read a book any book we don't know which book we are talking about let's start now with the indefinite articles a uh, or an signal that the noun modified is indefinite, referring to any member of a group. My daughter really wants a dog for Christmas. This refers to any dog. We don't know which dog because we haven't found the dog yet. When to use the indefinite article, a uh, or an? Using a uh or an depends on the sound that begins the next word. So, a uh is used with a singular noun beginning with a consonant or pronounced h, a consonant sound like a boy, a car, a bike, a zoo, or a dog. A uh user sounds like e user. Um, an example that's to say begins with a consonant y sound a university a unicycle and the like and in the other hand is used with a singular noun beginning with a vowel or starting with a silent h like an elephant an egg an apple an idiot an orphan an hour in some cases where H is pronounced such as historical, you can use an, however, a is more commonly and preferred, a historical event. We are still trying to answer the same question, when to use a or an. So if the noun is modified by an adjective, the choice between a and an depends on the initial sound of the adjective that immediately follows the article and not the noun a broken egg an unusual problem indefinite articles are used to indicate membership in a group i'm a teacher and brian is an irishman let's now talk a little bit about the definite article the which is used before singular and plural nouns when the noun is specific or particular or known 
Uh, pay attention here that in contrast of a uh, and an which are used only with singular noun. The signals that the noun is definite known that it refers to a particular member of a group. The dog that bit me ran away. So we are talking about a specific dog. The dog that bit me and not any other dog. Let's relate the topic to countable and uncountable nouns. They can be used with non-countable nouns or the article can be omitted. So you can say I love the sail over the water and you can say I love to sail over water. Uh, uh and and can be used only with countable nouns. I need a bottle of water. I need a new glass of milk. Uh, we have to relate also the use of the with a geographical places so we do not use the before names of most countries and territories we don't say the italy the mexico the caro uh, the cata no however some countries can be uh, used with the article the like the netherlands the dominican republic and the philippines and the united states we don't use the with names of cities and towns and states. We don't use the with names of streets. Washington Boulevard, Main Street. Uh, we don't use also the with names of lakes and uh, bays like Lake Titicaca. Neither with the names of mountains like Mount Everest. We don't say the Mount Everest. And we don't use the with names of country, continents, sorry, neither with names of islands. We can use the before names of some rivers, oceans and seas, the Nile, the Pacific, uh, also with points on the globe, the equator, the North Pole, with geographical areas, the Middle East, the West, and with some deserts, forts, gulfs, and peninsulas like the Sahara, the Persian Gulf, the Black Forest, the Iberian Peninsula, and the like. Sometimes we need to omit the articles, so common types of nouns that don't take an article are Names of languages and nationalities, Chinese, English, Spanish, Russian, unless you are referring to the population of the nation. The Spanish are known for their warm hospitality. Here we are talking about the people and not the language. Uh, we can also omit the articles with names of sports, volleyball, hockey, baseball and the like. And we don't use articles with academic subjects like mathematics. We don't say mathema the mathematics. We don't say the biology. And the like. here we are at the end of our video. If you want to make some practice, just go to www.esoeonline.org. Thank you. Let's continue with our lesson, but let's first try to gain some terminology words to use along the unit. Species exist, extinct, pollution, and disease. Try to have your Arabic equivalent for these words. And now, open your student's book on the grammar reference at the end of the book, page 141. We will try to learn some rules governing the use of articles. And let's 
start with the indefinite article a and n which is used before singular countable nouns and folks singular means only one when we mention them for the first time or when we don't refer to a specific item we use a when the next word begins with a consonant sound and n when the next word begins with a vowel sound some examples for a and sound for n a desk a european pay attention it is a vowel letter but it is a consonant sound a university a hospital a blue umbrella on the other hand we say an apple an egg an orange an umbrella an hour and an exciting holiday one example in a full sentence there is a lamp in the room there isn't an armchair in the room is it the same room let's talk a little bit about the definite article the which is used before uncountable nouns and countable nouns so we can use the with both uncountable and countable nouns in the singular and also in the plural the is used before something specific or already mentioned means known i have to go to the dentist we are talking about one particular dentist we know me and the one to whom i'm talking to i bought two t-shirts and a dress the dress which is mentioned here a second time is white we also use the for things that are unique means we have only one like the sun which hits the earth we also resort to the for things that are defined the house which is next to ours is 300 years old and we use it means the with the superlative of adjectives and the adverbs like juan or juan who is the best student of all we also use the before names of seas oceans rivers canals coasts gulfs deserts groups of islands mountain ranges and countries in the plural like the black sea the indian ocean the blue coast the gulf of mexico and we use it before nationalities when we refer to the whole nation the chinese invented paper thousands of years ago we also use the before people's surnames when we refer to the whole family the samson came to see us last night and with buildings like hotels restaurant theaters museums institutions and the like the hilton the pasta house the museum of modern art the national museum and also with newspapers services and organizations the washington post the police the united nations with adjectives referring to classes of people the old the blind the poor and before musical instruments my son plays the drums pay attention that the is not used before 
Countable and uncountable nouns which refer to something general or not mentioned before. He loves chocolate. Whales are mammals. We don't also use the before names of people, streets, cities, countries, continents, islands, and mountains. Man, G. Smith, Park Street, London. Not the London. Neither the Cairo. It's not Al-Qahira. It's Cairo. Before the days of the weekend months on Monday in June. We don't use it before names of squares, parks, lakes, and falls, Madison Square, Central Park, and Niagara Falls. I want to visit next. We don't use the before the names of magazines, sports, games, colors, school subjects, and language. When they are not followed by the word language. So we say English or oh, the English language. Newsweek tennis, bingo, white, maths, Spanish. We don't also use the with meals like breakfast, lunch, dinner. So we just say, what did you have for breakfast? And not for the breakfast, but. When we talk about a specific meal, we use the I didn't enjoy the dinner on the plane. We don't use the before the words bed, court, home, prison, school, university, and work when they are used for the purpose for which they exist. Thomas went to university to study engineering, but we can say Peter went to the university to visit his professor. We don't use the before names of airlines or companies. Delta, BMW, and not the BMW. Some additional information about the indefinite articles E and N. We can use them to refer to something for the first time, an elephant and a mouse. But pay attention when it is repeated or mentioned a second time, it is preceded by the. I met a boy near the house. The boy wanted to communicate with me. We use E and N to mean one. Referring to a singular object or a person like in I'd like an orange and two lemons, please Note that we usually say a hundred a thousand a million Of course, we can say 100 note that we use one to add emphasis or to contrast with other numbers I don't know one person who likes eating eleven meat. We've got six computers, but only one printer. We use the indefinite articles with names of jobs. John is a doctor. And with nationalities and religions. Like John is an Englishman and Kate is a Catholic. I'm a Muslim. And now to your student's book, page 92. And someone please to read the instruction. Read the examples below and circle the correct words to complete the rules in the box underneath. Someone to read the examples first. The Caspian Sea is a lake, not a sea. Suddenly, the sharks attacked the boat and the passengers got really scared. There is a national park in... Oh, it's cat. Don't worry. 
There is a national park in California, in the United States, which is called Sequoia National Park. The park is famous for its giant sequoia trees. So, can you please tell me which article we used before a singular countable noun when we refer to it in a general sense or when it is mentioned for the first time yes we use a or an the indefinite article so when to use or what to use before a noun which is unique or which is used in a specific sense or has been mentioned before of course it's the the definite article that's task a and before moving to task b have a look on these notes before a noun which represents a species we can use a or an of course the or the plural form like a penguin can't fly sometimes it can if you throw it so high the penguin can't fly and penguins can't fly so remember to diversify your uses in your writings and remember, no article at all, neither a, nor an, nor the, is used before uncountable nouns and plural countable nouns which refer to something in a general sense. Like, water is something we shouldn't waste. We don't say the water, nor a water. Volcanoes exist on Earth, but also on other planets like Mars. In the French language, Mars is March. To task B, you need to read the paragraph and to circle the correct words, of course, it's an article. Pause the video and come back quickly with correct answer. Here you are. Someone for the first paragraph about the story of the Arabian Oryx is an amazing one these animals which live in dry desert environment across the arabian peninsula actually became extinct in the wild back in 1972 the wild population was eventually rebuilt after several years of conservation work and today the animals can be found in many countries of Arabia they are able to survive in the dry climate there because they can go without drinking for long periods of time in fact they can survive just on water contained in the plants that they eat. For this reason, oryx often eat at night when the plants contain more water. To the second paragraph about the golden about the golden toad, also known as the multiverd toad used to live in the rainforest of Costa Rica. It was a common species in the past, but in 1982 only 10 were found. Sadly, 
The research team, which was sent a year later, could only find one. It was declared extinct in 2007. And biologists say the main cause was pollution and disease. And here we finish it, our grammar lesson. But before that, try to do this task. Look at the woman over there. She's a famous actress. I read an amazing story yesterday and I was in a Japanese restaurant. The restaurant served good food. Let's finish with this game. You'll get the answers when you are at your class rooms. See you soon and salam alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. مجمع الأندلس التعليمي تعلم عصري ملهم بهوية وطنية وقيم إسلامية